Hey guys, what is going on? Narciss here from The Gaming Projects coming today to talk about Square Enix, them selling off the, most of their Western developing studios, whether they will be selling themselves off, and just their bizarre behavior. Before we get started, make sure to scroll down and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay notified on future videos. So back in May, Square Enix surprised the gaming world by announcing that it was selling off most of its western studios, comprising of Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, Square Enix Montreal, and a bunch of their IPs including big names like Tomb Raider and Deus Ex. A lot of people were convinced that Square Enix was going to sell themselves off to Sony. I was skeptical of this idea. Square Enix is still quite profitable. Final Fantasy XIV was so popular that Square Enix had to quit selling it for a period because their servers were overloaded with players. Kingdom Hearts 30 sold over 6 million copies, and yeah, some of their recent ventures haven't been as profitable as they had hoped, but they are still bringing in the big bucks. Square Enix, in its last quarterly earnings meeting, reported that they sold off their Western studios as part one of a two-part plan to get their financial records back on track. They stated that their Western studios are cannibalizing sales of their other IPs. Which would explain as to why they sold off their western studios, cut off the arm or the hand to save the arm or however the saying goes. By getting rid of non-profitable studios, they can now focus on their big money makers. Their second phase is to bring in other companies and have them invest into helping develop games. Square Enix stated that the cost of creating games has significantly increased over the years and they are seeking investors to help invest into their IPs. So, say Square Sony comes in and they invest in the Final Fantasy, they could see a kickback from their investment and potentially have exclusivity to it as well. This could work and help Square Enix garner more earnings by cutting cost. So do I think that Square Enix is going to sell off? No, not yet at least. But this isn't what is bizarre about Square Enix's behavior. And no, I'm not talking about NFTs, which Square is heavily investing in, or at least that's what I last heard, but it's their release schedule for like the next year. They are releasing several titles stacked on top of one another. We have the Dio Field Chronicles releasing on September 22nd for all platforms, Valkyrie Elysium releasing September 19th for PlayStation and then PC in November, Star Ocean Divine Force on October 27th for PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Harvest Stella no uh, is going to come out on November 4th for the Nintendo Switch and PC. Dragon Quest Treasures December 9th for Nintendo Switch. And then Crisis Core Reunion this winter for, uh, I believe, most consoles. Some of these titles will be releasing very close together and on the same console. The question is, why? Do they think it's a good idea? Are they trying to prove to other companies that they have plenty of IPs left, that they can still be profitable? Are they just trying to unload their lower end titles so they can focus on their more higher end ones? I don't know. Releasing similar titles at the same time is going to impact the sales of each title, especially if they are going to release on the same console. I am super excited for each and every one of these titles, but you would think they would space them out a bit so that they could make the most profits on each game. They are releasing so close together that people will be picking and choosing which titles to grab and play over the other due to costs and time constraints. It's odd to me, and I can't get my head around it. I do believe that Square Enix needs new leadership and that they have needed it for a long time. I could be wrong and this may work out for them, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And with that everyone, I am going to end this video. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about Square Enix right now. Will they be selling off soon? Should they space out the releases a bit more? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give the video a like, and until the next project everyone. Take it easy. I'm out.